Hello there, Drew Hannish Whiskey Lore. Time for another whiskey tasting. And today doing a tasting of a little sample bottle that I did bring back with me from Ireland, West Cork, single malt whiskey. This is a sherry cask finished version of West Cork, 43% ABV. I like the bottle there. I like the design and the cutout there of the southwestern part of Ireland. West Cork is in Skibbereen, which is down in that particular area, and a place where I had a very interesting visit. It was raining when I got there. This was in May of 2022, and the bed and breakfast that I was staying at it was the only place on the entire trip where I was told I have to wear a mask when I walked through the place. And they said, we just want masks on. So I'm like, okay, well, this is interesting. Then I took off and did some walking around. I had gotten there a little bit early on a Sunday night. And then I was to actually go meet with one of the founders on Monday of West Cork. And this is a distillery that its origins, uh, according to their information, goes all the way back to uh, Dennis, one of the founder, founders, garages in 2003, which would make it mm, the third distillery since the you know growth of the Irish whiskey industry being that you had you know Irish distillers, which was Middleton and Bushmills were already running, but then of the newer breed, you would have had Cooley, and then you would have had Kilbegan come back online, and then you would have had West Cork come online. So that's the timeline that we're thinking of going with. They didn't actually move into the Skibbereen plant that they have now until 2014. It's a fascinating thing to go see. If you get a chance to go, they don't do a standard public tour. I think the word was that if you got there around 12 noon, if you called ahead, you probably could get somebody to show you around. And they show you everything. And there's a lot in that. It's a huge facility. And so if you get a chance, I would say that might be one to check out if you can swing getting somebody to show you around. And Dennis was the one that showed me around. So that was a real treat because I don't think he normally does tours. And so it was fun to get a chance to talk with him and dive back into where all that equipment came from because they had equipment in there that basically they just hodgepodged together if a distillery shut down they took over the equipment or you know they just took pieces here and pieces there and built this mammoth distillery that now actually has um, 80 plus employees that work there and they not only make whiskey that they make for themselves under the West Cork label, but they also are doing bottling and labeling and also making distillate for other distilleries, same as Great Northern Distillery does. And I've had some of their whiskeys. Uh, Kurok is one that's a seaweed finished whiskey that is from another owner, but the whiskey was made there. And it's a really interesting and good whiskey if you get a chance to find it. Savory whiskey for those people who really like peated whiskeys. Love to get a bottle of that at some point. But for this, we are diving into one of their namesake whiskeys. So this is West Cork's own single malt juice. And so interesting that it says Irish whiskey on it, but it also says single malt. So at first... When I looked at it, I went, oh, this is a blend. But then as I looked a little closer, I'm like, oh, no, no, this is a single malt. Very light in color. They do not chill filter. They do not add color to it. And at 43% ABV, you might find your bottle to be a little cloudy on a cool day. But that's a good thing because that says that they are not chill filtering it. This has a really interesting nose. I would normally think that something that has spent time, it's it's aged in an ex-bourbon barrel, and then it spends a little time in a sherry barrel. This is herbally, and I don't really know 
how to put my finger on. I called it herbally oak because that was kind of the impression I was getting out of it. it smells like a flower shop. And I, I just can't pick out anything in there that I would relate to a sherry barrel. And I really don't pick out anything that would relate to a single malt. It's got a nose of its own. It's fairly, fairly mild. It's going for a taste. That nose actually does translate to the palate. And I am still at a loss to tell you what I am tasting. All of my instinct says, look for the bourbon notes. Look for the sherry cask notes, Oloroso sherry. I'm getting something. And... I mean, on the end, I get like a little bit of mint. I get a little bit of the toffee kind of, I sense it's there, kind of a coating that you get out of it. The thing is, is that I don't know how long it's spending in the sherry barrel, but it doesn't seem like it's spending enough time in the sherry barrel to add an influence to it. And this is triple distilled, and it makes me think, what would this taste like if it were just double distilled? Because it is so mild. And it's so mild that there's really not anything going on. This is a whiskey you could guzzle mindlessly and probably, I mean, it's a clean distillate. Um, has an intriguing nose, but it, uh, but I can't really nail it down to something that I would call pleasant. It's just there. It's a, it's a scent. And uh, in terms of the whiskey itself, it's so mild and it doesn't give bourbon characteristics to me and it doesn't give single malt characteristics to me and it doesn't give me sherry barrel. I have to try this again. Something about the nose reminds me of like an herbally soup, like a chicken soup. Seriously, I've, I've never given that note before. Chicken soup. It does. It reminds me of some of those like oregano and those kinds of spices that you would add to a soup. Interesting. Nice legs on that whiskey. <laughs> I can't tell you. I mean, maybe it does have a little of that oregano kind of a, of, of a taste to it. I, it doesn't really have a taste. It's, it has a taste, but it's nothing I can describe. Maybe I'm pulling in a little pear now, but it's really mild. This is a really interesting whiskey. Interesting in that it is so... There's a little tannin left on the on the palate, but it's not offensive in any way, shape, or form. It's just alcohol. I mean, it is not like drinking vodka. If there's something going on there, but I mean, I would say if you see this, a bottle of this, while you're in the shop, while you're hanging out at the local bar or whatever, and if you saw a bottle of this, um, you might order it just to see what you come up with. I'll be fascinated to see, has anybody had this whiskey before and what do you think? And I have found that some of the West Cork stuff that I've had, I've been like, Neh. and some of it I, I've thought, okay, I can see where that's going. But then I've had stuff that they've made for other people and I've gone, wow, that's really, really nice. So I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if maybe this is older stock and, you know, or, you know, it's just the, the stuff is being cherry picked out of their collection for these other brands that are utilizing their stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of, eh, you know, it's nothing I would ever buy because I want something to drink that's going to 
excite me in one way or another that has something that stands out on it and a regular oh, is not going to do it for me. Soup, chicken soup, uh, whiskey for the soul, I guess. It just uh, not, not really hitting me there. But like I say, if you had it, I'd love to see your comments down below. And um, have you had a whiskey that you've just been like, okay, I, I don't know. What am I, where, where is this going? What, that, it, that it doesn't offend you in any way, shape, or form, but you're like, um, I just don't know. There's nothing here that's really selling me on this particular whiskey. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to doing some more tastings later this week. And until next time, cheers and slan diva. That is the ultimate in easy drinker. It really, really is. If you're just looking for the alcohol, you're good. <laughs>